wonder though what would happen if we skipped a leap year. Let's do the math. 2024 is a leap year, and the question arises, why do we have leap years? Well, the Earth takes one year to revolve around the Sun, right? Not exactly. It actually takes 365.2422 days. So when you subtract and find the difference, it's not zero. In other words, we're behind, about 5.8 hours a year. While this is a small number, over the decades and centuries, it would have a big impact on the calendar. In 100 years, we'd be off by 24 days. So instead of the first day of spring being March 19th, without a leap year, it would be February 23rd, and so on and so forth. So to help synchronize the time, the solution that was introduced centuries ago, we add one day every four years. Problem solved, right? Not quite. When you subtract the amount of time it takes for the Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun with this new solution, you find out we're still about 11 minutes off a year. In over 100 years, we'd be off by about 18 hours, which doesn't sound like a big problem, but over the centuries it would eventually throw us off quite a bit. So to help bring this number closer to zero, we actually skip leap years to help realign the calendar to the solar year. But the rules are very specific, so to help understand it, we'll use a kind of leap year hopscotch to solve the problem. You skip a leap year if it falls on the start of a century, unless that year is divisible by 400. So, for example, every four years, we acknowledge the extra day in February, but in the year 2100, we'll skip that leap year, since one, it falls on the start of a century, and two, it's not divisible by 400. Back in the year 2000, it was a leap year, but since it was divisible by 400, we didn't skip it. Still with us? With this added solution, the current yearly average is 365.2425 days, which is a lot closer to the solar year. And unfortunately, we're still off by a few decimals, to be exact, about 26 seconds a year. At this rate, it would take over 3,000 years to be off by one day, which some would say is close enough. So we're good. Uh, my daughter almost was a leap baby. Her birthday is tomorrow. She turns 12. We told her, honey, you almost turned three today. So. Almost. <laughs> and if it really is your birthday on the 29th, it's interesting to know if you celebrate the 28th or March 1st. Is it a yeah. February 28th? Which day do or you, you choose? Get, or do you get a birthday weekend? I've always wanted to know No matter that. what day it is. A lot of you texting in this morning with yeah. some great leap year birthdays. So yeah. happy birthday to you. Absolutely.